Hello and welcome friend. In this tutorial we will try to again look what will happen when we kill the parent process or the child process. So when we say process it is created out of four it's not a thread. So what will happen? So this is my simple program and here I am putting a longer period of sleep. Uh, the reason I am putting a longer period of sleep so that I can go and inspect with ps command and at the same time do some operations while it is still running. I don't want it to be terminated. That's why I am giving a longer period of sleep of 3600 seconds. Now as usual when we see we are running this a dot out and we can look at the process id with ps minus ef pipe to grep a dot out. You see I have two process for a dot out. This is again grep process. We don't care about that. When we run a grep it will create one more process to find out what is it running in the system. So this is not what we needed. We have this two process. So one is the main process, this is my main process and this is my child process. Because if you see the PID of the main process and the parent of the child process is my main process. So this is the child process. So let's suppose if I killed my parent process. So I say kill minus 9 and then this is my parent process. So if you see here, my parent got killed, the child is still running. How do I know that? Because if you see here, the child is still running 3065. Now you see something interesting happening here. The child is running with the same process ID. However, the parent PID was 3064. It has become 1. The reason is when I kill the parent process 3064, there is no more parent for alive for this process. But when the parent process is dead for any of them, that process gets owned by PID 1, which is the init of the entire process. So if you see PS minus EF pipe 2 more, you will see the first process which you see any system when the first process gets spawned that is the PID 1 which is called as the init process. So when the parent is dead that process is basically kind of orphan and that orphan process is reaped and goes back to the great 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 grandfather which is the PID 1 init process. So let me now kill both of them and we'll run it again. So now I kill both of them and it's done. If I see here, there's no a dot out, just a grey process, okay. So we have seen that if you kill a child process, the child process will remain as it is. However, its parent process ID will be one. It's no more my parent process of the process which has spawned because that's owned by the init process now. Now what will happen is when we kill the child process rather than parent process, now again, this is my parent process, this is my child process. Let me kill the child process now. Now if I kill the child process, you see it doesn't say anything. When we kill the parent process, it says killed, but it was still running for the child process. Now this time I have killed the child process. Let me check with ps cf So see, the process 3102 got killed, the parent is still running. But again here you see something interesting. The child gets killed, however the child is not removed from the system. The reason is whenever a child process is killed, what happens? It will still wait in the system as a defunct process until the parent has not exited. The reason being that the parent wants to collect the, the information of the child process exit status. So it will run as a defunct. Now when the parent also exits, this defunct will be gone. So if you see the defunct process and zombie process, that's because of this reason. So let me rephrase again so that you can remember. In defunct process are those process in which the child process got skilled but is still lying alive, not alive, means it's in a dormant state. It cannot do anything but its PID and all other stuffs are maintained so that the parent when it exits, it will rip off the PID. It will do a cleanup on the PID. So let me now kill the parent process which is equivalent to parent being dead and if I run now the defunct process is also gone. Okay so let's rerun this again with a slight different modifications with maybe let's say 30 seconds so that we can see the visible difference rather than waiting for very long. So let's run with 30 seconds. Okay. Now let me compile and run this. 
so I set yes minus yes pipe to grab k dot out so my parent is running this is my child kill the child kill minus 9 three one five four done now let's see the child process it's defunct let's wait for 30 seconds and see what happens let's continuously keep going doing this so when the parent is dead then the child will be automatically removed until then it will be listed as a defunct process in my ps so now you see the parent is dead the child is also dead so of course the parent is dead the parent is gone the child process which was lying idle without doing anything in a dormant state that's get killed so you have to remember when the parent gets killed the child process is owned by the init script the pid becomes one for the parent process id for that child process however if the child process gets killed it will be lying still lying in the system until the parent gets exited now there is a way to get rid of this defunct process if there are a lot of defunct process it will waste your resource in the system so there is a wait pid which we will look in our next example how to fix this problem how to remove this if there are few of the defunct process then that is still allowed but if there are a lot and lot of processes you are creating let's suppose you are creating an nginx process let maybe 500 processes you are forked off and all of the childs are getting killed but is but is it still lying in the system as a defunct process you might be wasting some resource for the duration of run of the parent process so we will have to take care of this defunct process thank you all for watching this short video and i hope to see you in my next video you have a nice time bye